I've been so focused on school that I've neglected my flying, so it's time to hit the traffic pattern and get the engine warm. In the last couple of months, due to a combination of trying to focus heavily on my grades, bad weather, and the airplane battery being dead, I'm finally experiencing a break in the homework, a day of nice weather, and a fresh battery in the airplane. The weather was too calm and smooth for me to pass up, so on this midweek school day, I decided to head to the airport right after class to get some flying in before heading home. Checklist. Alright, my keys, I'll put those in the back seat. I got my wallet with my driver's license and pilot certificate. That's required. And I got my phone. That can go in the back seat. Alright, up we go. I don't know why I put my keys in the back. It's got the airplane key on it. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're just going to go up and uh, do a few touch and goes and then come back to the hangar. Uh, I got out of class a couple hours ago and uh, I'm just going to swing by the airport here and do a little flying before I go home. Alright, pre-engine start, pre-flight complete, camera's audio recorder are recording, audio is going and the GoPro on my head is going, passenger briefing not applicable. Seat belts, belts, and shoulder harnesses are on. And I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna adjust my seat down a little bit. Last person that sat over here was a little girl named Brooke. And she's short. I just turn these, these cranks down here. Lower my seat a little bit. That was a little too far. Okay, and seatbelt's good there. Fuel selector is on both, verify that. Avionics and all electrical switches are off. Avionics off, off, off. Beacon is on, that can stay on. And we're good. DC cockpit power, there's nothing plugged into it, so that's disabled. Brakes test, check the brakes and set the parking brake. Pull that lever down there. And circuit breakers check in. There is nothing that popped. Everything's in. All right, mixture goes to rich. Carburetor heat in. Master switch coming on. And prime is required. We don't need to prime it. Throttle open a quarter inch. Prop area clear. Ignition start. Engine instruments check. Clear. We look good. And she fired right up. Oil pressure's coming up into the green. We have suction, ammeters charging, avionics on. All right, check one, two, check, check. Channel one seven, right base for one three. Channel one seven, runway one three, clear to land. Clear to land. Alrighty, check one, two, check, check. We'll turn our intercom volume up a little bit. We got our second radio on and our Garmin 430 is booting up. Tower, says the 519, November Delta, holding short, uh, 17, ready for takeoff. This 
Five one nine November Delta. Roger. Confirm you are VFR. Uh, affirmative, sir. Just five one nine November Delta. Runway one seven. Clear for takeoff. You can turn All right. Pre taxi. Course. Avionics master is on. Recording devices marked. Atis check. We'll get Atis here in just a second. Ground control contact. Airport safety diagram or safe taxi diagram on. Feet seat belts fastened. Nav lights on. We don't need those on. Actually, we'll go ahead and get them on. Landing line on. Brakes test. We'll get those on before we start taxi. Switch over to ground on that radio, and we'll get the ATIS in just a second. Bring up our airport diagram here. Temperature 22, 2.13, altimeter 3022. Visual approaches and use landing and departing at runway 17. On initial contact, advise you have information India. All right, information India. Sign Marcus Airport, information India, 2050 Zulu, wind 160 at 8, visibility 10, sky conditions, few clouds at 2200, ceiling broken 4800, and overcast 5500. Temperature 22, 2.13, altimeter 3022. Visual approaches and use landing and departing at runway 17. On initial contact, advise you have information India. All right, we have information India. We'll let ground know. I'm going to go to my scratch pad here and clear it. Information India. And I'm going to start taxiing here and get just outside the T-hangers here. There's a movement area line right there. I just can't cross that line. So what I do is I just inch forward here. I'm going to check the brakes, bring the flaps up. Kind of make sure nobody's coming left, nobody's coming right. And I'm just going to stay right inside the movement area line here. And I just like to get where the tower can see me. Make sure my wing's not crossing the line there. and just kind of go out here on the ramp. San Marcos Ground, Skyhawk 80 and 991. Skyhawk 80, 991, San Marcos Ground. 80991 Cessna 172 at the T hangers. Information India, I'd like to taxi out to remain in the pattern. Cessna 80991, runway 17, taxi via Bravo, Charlie, and Juliet cross runway 8, hold short of runway 13. Taxi to 17 via Bravo, Charlie, Juliet cross runway 8, hold short of runway 13809991. Okay. 17 via Bravo, Charlie, Juliet. Cross, cross runway 8, hold short of 13. Attention all aircraft information. Juliet, current on the ATIS at San Marcos, at 2 meter 3020. 3020. We're clear left, we're clear right. Got nav lights on, beacon light on, and landing light on. Clear left on runway 8, and clear right on runway 8. Strobe lights coming on. Run back to my notes. We are cleared to cross runway 8. Approaching runway 0826. That's my iPad letting me know I'm approaching a runway. Should tell me that I'm entering the runway here in a second. Entered runway 0826. Yeah, there it is. Nice little audible warning there, just to let me know. It is always on the swivel. Coming up to taxiway Charlie, there's nobody coming on Charlie. Nobody on Charlie ahead of us. Strobe lights coming off. We're clear of the runway.
wrapping up this vent here. Getting a little humid. I'll crack this window open too. There's some air moving in here. It's been a long time since I've sat in the left seat of this airplane. Or any airplane for that matter. I've been doing so much right seat stuff, flying with my girlfriend. I let her sit in the left seat, and she does the flying now. <laughs> Not every time, but I let her fly in the left seat a lot. And then, of course, when I fly with my dad, I'll always give him left seat. Plus, the CFI is kind of supposed to be over there anyways. We're clear left on Juliet. We're clear right on Juliet. We were instructed to hold short of runway 13. We are required to hold short of the ILS critical area when the ceiling is 800 or below, and our ceiling is up at around 2,000, so we do not have to hold short of this ILS critical area line. We can pull all the way up to the hold line. I'll go ahead and stop here. Holding short of 1-3 on Juliet. There's a Black Hawk doing auto rotations. There you go, yank that cyclic back. So if they do a 9 or 9 or 1, cross from me 1 3, tax to 1 7. Cross 1 3 to 1 7, 8 0 9 9 1. Alright, strobe lights coming on. And watch out for his rotor wash. Approaching runway 1 3. The wind is kind of coming out of that way, so his rotor wash is going to blow that way and kind of dissipate. Entered runway 13, 5,500 feet remaining. Practicing auto rotations, that's pretty cool. One day, one day I'll be flying helicopters. And notice, just in case his rotor wash decides to descend, you know, after it's dissipated a little bit, of course, it descends down onto the taxiway where I am. I'm, I've got a, I've got a grip on the controls. I'm just hanging on to him. Strobe lights coming off. We're clear of the runway. I right, just continue taxiing down Juliet to runway 17 over there. Go ahead and put my heading bug on 170. Runway heading. Good afternoon, San Marcos Ground. Skyline November 3066, Quebec on the ground at Skyport. We'd like to pick up IFR clearance to uh, uh, Golf Lima Echo, and we've got Juliet ready to taxi when able. And IFR to Golf Lima Echo, tell me your tail number again. 3066, Quebec. Sorry about that. No, that was on me. I was uh, attending some other business. But uh, clearance on request, you say you're ready to taxi? Ready to taxi, yes, sir. And uh, we can take that clearance when we get over to the run-up. Okay, it's going to take me a minute to get it. So, 6-6 uh, six, six Quebec, runway 1-7, taxi. Yeah, Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, and Juliet, cross runway 8, hold short of runway 1 Somebody three. turning final out there. Runway 1-7. And this is uh, 66 Quebec. We copy uh, taxi to uh, runway 17 uh, via Alpha Bravo Charlie Juliet. Cross uh, 18 and hold short of 13. Cross 8. Almost. There's no 18 here. Just uh, cross runway 08. <laughs> 08. Thank you very much, 66 Quebec. All right, we got somebody on the upwind climbing out out there. We got somebody on downwind right there, and I don't see anybody on final. This whole time, I'm getting a mental picture of what's going on in the pattern, and uh, it's it's gonna I'm gonna have to really think about that when they tell me to take a certain runway. If they switch me over to one three or one seven, 
I've got to know kind of who is where and who's doing what where. Like, I know there's a guy doing pattern work here, and that guy's probably doing pattern work over there. And I've got an airplane at the FBO getting ready to taxi out to depart IFR. All these things, these are things to think about, things I need to know to build this, this cognitive map, this, uh, this big mental picture about what's going on. I'm going to align myself with that windsock over there and just point the nose into the wind. And I'm going to set the parking brake. Give it a little bit of throttle there. San Marcos Ground, Seminole 255, Tango Julia. Before takeoff, cabin doors and windows closed and latched. Information, Julia. Closed, latched. Runway 13, departing to the west. Shut that window. My control's free and correct. That one goes up, that one goes down, that one goes up, that one goes down. Elevators up and down, rudder left and right. That's my two, or correction, Seminole 255, Tango Julia. Elevator tramp, set for takeoff. Flight instruments check, zero, neutral. That is set to the barometric pressure, American not indicating a turn. Julia, set the directional gyro to the compass, and, Julia cross runway and we'll reset it when we get on the runway. And that's at zero, Alpha, Bravo, indicating Charlie, no climb. Fuel selector is on uh, both, five, mixture five, goes to rich. Parking brake is set, we've already got it set, so we're going to throttle up to 1700 RPM. Check the magnetos from both, go to the left. A little bit of sputtering there, back to both. And check the right. A little bit of sputtering there, back to both, which is expected. This airplane hasn't flown in a few weeks. I'm going to lean out here on both. 1700 RPM, I'm going to lean the mixture out. You can see how far I've got it lean there, just until it starts giving out a little bit. I'm basically just getting it real heated up in the engine and the cylinders there to burn out all that nasty carbon that's causing the, the problems. Causing, causing it to run a little bit of rough on those single mags. There's a hot rod. That's a military trainer. Tandem. Alright. Coming in. Mixture to rich. Left mag. Very clean. Back to both. Right mag. Very clean. Whoops. Little bit of sputtering on that right mag still. System 3066, Quebec Cross, runway 13. Lean it out a little bit more. Cross runway 3, uh, runway 1366, Quebec. Always aware of my surroundings. I got that guy on upwind. I've probably got a Cessna coming into the runway here in just a minute. And I've got a Cessna crossing the runway. It's going to be taxiing up behind me here in a few minutes. Check that right mag again. Alright, right mag is clean. Next on the checklist, carburetor heat. Pull the carb heat out. We get a slight drop. Low pressure's in the green, all temps in the green. Plenty of fuel. Suction is good. Ammeter is responsive with the alternator switch, and we get a warning light. This is kind of an IFR thing. I'm going to leave the carburetor heat out, pull the throttle all the way to idle. Engine still runs with carb heat out, and we get a warning light on the vacuum. Carb heat goes in. Warning light. Check the standby vacuum. Warning light goes out. Suction comes up. Standby vacuum. And back up to 1,000, okay. Throttle friction lock adjust, flap set. Both come down, both come up. We want them all the way up, retracted. Emergency procedures review. We're gonna take off before, I'd say before 600 feet. We're not, if we lose the engine, we're not gonna try and turn back. Uh, we're just gonna nose over and aim somewhere right in front of us. Um, and then uh, above 600 feet, we can turn around and try and make it back to one of the three runways here. So I think we're good there. Departure plans, man that guy made a quick pattern. Departure plans review, uh, we're going to stay in the pattern and we're going to do what tower tells us. Takeoff checklist review, radio set, so we'll switch to tower and contact tower. I'm actually going to... Tower cover 0 3 going to go, we'd like to uh, depart out of your VFR back to Randolph. Cover 0 3, roger, proceed on course. Thanks for the work, on course, back to Randolph. Over zero three, you're welcome. And now, first, you change the proof. Switching things, sir. All right. Shannon one seven, thanks for your help in the pattern. And first, you change proof. Shannon one seven, first, you change. Uh, thanks for your help. Have a good day. We are ready for departure. I'll let Tower know. San Marcos Tower, Skyhawk eight zero nine nine one, holding short of one seven on Julia, ready for departure. Skyhawk eight zero nine nine one, the San Marcos Tower, Roger, hold short of runway uh, one three. Or runway 17, I'm sorry. Hold short of 1780991. I was going to say, I ain't at 13. Did I do something wrong? San Marcos.
Marcus Tower, Cessna 66038, six miles east at 2000, inbound for landing. I have Juliet. Cessna 66038, Marcus Tower, Roger, say again your position. Five and, five and a half miles east, inbound for landing. Cessna 66038, report left downwind, runway 17. 038, report Just left downwind, 17. 27 wind November, confirm your position and altitude. Are you at 2,700? 2,700, and I'm uh, 7.9 miles to northwest. 27 wind November, Roger. Passing off your left wing is a helicopter below you at 1,400 northbound. I have the traffic in sight. Uh, Mooney, 7 wind November, thank you. 27 wind November, Roger. Report that three miles straight in for runway 13. Report uh, three miles straight in for runway 13, Mooney, 7 wind November. Sustain 0991 to runway 17, you're clear for takeoff and then say your intentions. I'd just like to remain in the pattern for a few landings. Sustain 80991, Roger. Make left close traffic and report uh, midfield each time. Traffic is inbound from the uh, southeast, so um, let's just fly runway heading on departure 991. Okay, on departure, fly runway heading, runway 17, clear for takeoff, Skyhawk 80991. Transponder now, seat car beat cold, mixture Come is on, rich, towers. flaps are up, with you at yeah, selector is both, purpose of takeoff, lights on. Approaching runway 17. Whiskey Echo, Samar Star Roger, continue your approach. And your missed approach instructions are turn right heading 300. Runway 17, 5,100 feet remaining. Alright, we're going to fly runway okay, heading. Cherokee, Samar Whiskey Echo, for now, fly runway heading on your missed approach. Heels down to the floor, full power. We're going to fly runway heading. Alright, engines in the green, airspeed's alive. 50 knots. A little bit of wind from the left, keeping it down the center line, 60 knots. We're airborne. Step on the brakes. That'd be positive rate gear up. Yes, uh, feels nice. Feels nice to fly. I got that traffic inbound from the southeast. Loosen my seatbelt just a little bit so I can lean forward and see him. Just uh, zero three eight. I just ran. Wind runway one seven at San Marcos. Cessna 9901, you can make your left close traffic, and you're following a Cessna that's approaching midfield. I got the Cessna in sight. We'll turn left close traffic behind him, 9901. All righty. Cessna 038, continue your downwind. You're number two to follow a Cherokee that's on a four mile straight in. Report that Cherokee in sight and extend your downwind until you see. 038, Roger, we're looking for the Cherokee. I got that traffic on the downwind. Cessna 9901, follow the uh, Cessna. We'll follow the Cessna, 9901. Tower Skyline 66 Quebec holding short of 17 at Juliet. Uh, uh, 3066 Quebec, Samar Star Roger. Continue holding short of runway 175 for release. Alright, there's a power short out. Short for release, 66 Quebec. He's at power out. You may have to extend your downwind quite a bit. Continue on your downwind until you see the Cherokee. Zero eight, Roger. Continuing downwind. Mooney seven one November runway one three runway one three clear to land. Sorry, one three clear land. Mooney seven one November. Zero three eight has the Cherokee in sight. Cessna zero three eight, Roger number two to follow the Cherokee runway one seven clear to land. Cherokee inside will follow him. Alright, I got the Cessna turning on base in front of me. I'm getting that mental picture like I was talking about. And I'm looking for that Cherokee somewhere down here. Oh, there he is. He just passed in front of the water tower. Okay, so he's turning base behind that Cherokee, which is on final. Cessna 9901, you got the preceding Cessna inside still. Affirmative.
All right, Cherokee's just passing off my left wing, and there's the Cessna. Goes at Cessna turning final. Looking for traffic, looking for traffic. It's the first decent day weather wise in a while, so we've got we're gonna have a lot of people out flying today. That tower Skyhawk 80991, do you want us to follow that Cessna in? Yeah, it's probably to follow the Cessna. And another one. Didn't know if he wanted me to go ahead and turn Jersey or... Jersey said Whiskey Echo, turn right 80, 300. Or what's that? 300 on the heading, Delta Whiskey Echo. When you said 1 November, if able, turn right, taxiway Delta. If unable, you could take the next taxiway, taxiway Echo, and contact ground. I can make Delta, contact ground, when you said 1 November. Yes, sir, thank you for your help. You're welcome. Final looks clear. I still got the Cessna on final. I'm gonna start to ease that power back. I haven't put any flaps in yet because we're doing a freaking 747 pattern here for all that traffic that we had to extend for, so final looks clear, we're going to go ahead and start turning Jackie the line Sam up. Whiskey, Echo, contact Austin, uh, approach. Going to Austin, first time Maintain about 80 knots here, 75 to 80. I don't quite see that Cessna anymore. I think he's right over the... Actually, I see him. He's right over the pavement. It's hard to see him. Okay, so we're going to get inside 85 knots on the airspeed indicator in the wide arc. And we'll dump the first notch of flaps. 1-1000, one, 2-1000, one thousand, one thousand, three one thousand. There's 10 degrees of flaps. I have to count because I have to hold it down. To Which is 038, turn right, runway 26. Cross runway 13, turn left, delta, delta, contact ground. 038. Here. Tower Skyhawk 80991, short final 17. 9991, Roger, runway 17, they cleared four touch and go, then make left close traffic report midfield. I cleared touch and go 17, left close traffic 9991. All right, 70 knots. We're doing okay on flaps. I'll add a second notch of flaps, which will be 20 degrees here, right about when we get over the edge of the brown there. All right, doing good on speed, 70 knots. 1-1000, 1, 2-1000, one, 3-1000. One, there comes the second notch Tower of flaps. Tower 255, Tango Juliet, ready on uh, and here is down. three, uh, departing to the west. 7255 Tango Julian, Samar Star, Ho Char, runway 134, uh, departing traffic. And we're going to get as close to the runway as possible. Three, uh, five, Tango Juliet. And just let it gently touch down. There we go, beautiful. All right, car beat in, flaps coming up. Full power. Air speeds up, 60 knots. We're airborne. On the brakes, you're up. I've seen a lot of people find it comical that I, I say positive rate gear up in a 172, which is, yeah, I mean, it's funny. It's kind of half joking, but it's also, you know, when you start flying complex airplanes, it's just a good idea to, to make it a habit. You know, once you get off the runway, you pull the gear up. Once you're on final, you put the gear down. Or, you, or even before that, you know. So even though I'm flying a fixed gear airplane, I still say it. Helps make sure that I'm not going to forget the gear. Test of 991, uh, make right traffic, report right midfield downwind, runway 1-7. We're going to make right closed traffic, report midfield right downwind, 991. Alright, I was just about to start my left turn, but he caught me. Or he changed his mind right in time, rather. And looking for traffic, looking for traffic. Climbing out at 76 knots on the airspeed indicator. 
which is what we want. That's VY, which is our best rate of climb. Passing through 1,400 feet, 200 feet to go to pattern altitude. We're on the crosswind. And we get our turn over to downwind, and I'm going to start ease and power out as we level off the pattern altitude. Quebec, runway 17, clear for takeoff, turn left, heading 360, and also new departure frequency 119.0. Uh, Skyline 66, Quebec, uh, clear for takeoff, runway uh, 17, and right. that's the heading of 360 with a new departure frequency 119.0. That guy just got clear for takeoff. Quebec, that's, that's he's, an, he's an IFR departure. Thank you, 66, Quebec, on the roll. So Marcus Tower, Skyhawk 80991, midfield, right downwind, 17. Right 991, roger, continue your right downwind. Continue the downwind, 991. Just making my radio calls very clear and concise. No jibber jabber, no useless fluff in my speech. Just get to the point and read back my tail number so he knows who it's coming from. So 1,600, 1,700 feet here, pattern altitude 1,600. So if I'm going to be a perfectionist, I need to descend about 60 feet. Got a guy on the roll down there. Four o'clock, one mile, 1,000 feet below. My iPad just called that traffic out to me because his ADSB or his transponder rather went alive on the roll there. <coughs> it said traffic four o'clock, 1,000 feet below me. <coughs> All right, we got a very tall tower about... It's just uh, 6 6 Quebec, we will begin your left 10 turn. 10 miles ahead of us, I can see it out there. Left turn, 3 6 zero. good day. San Marcos Tower, Cessna 3 6 uh, 9 Golf. A couple Bravo. of shorter towers out here. Terminal 255 Tango Juliet, runway 13, clear for takeoff, turn right on course. 5 Tango Juliet, runway 13, clear for takeoff, right turn on course. Test in 991, you begin your right base, runway 17, clear for touch and go, then make left close traffic. Okay, turning right base 17 now, we'll make left close traffic after that, 991, clear for touch and go. Test in 991, possible traffic for you is a Cessna off the departure in a runway 17 and a left turn northbound, IFR. Okay, we'll be looking for the traffic, we have them on ADSB, 991. Cessna 66, we'll make possible traffic for you is a Cessna Skyhawk on a three and a half mile straight in runway 17, contact Austin departure. Looking for traffic, go on to departure, have a great day. Alright, reduce the power Cessna just a little more. Cessna 369 Golf, Bravo, Star, hold short of runway 17. And we've got traffic hold on that side of the airport, climbing out, going to the north, so we want to make sure we don't overshoot the runway. We don't want to go too far to the e east, or else we'll be getting in his way. Now I'm starting to lose my voice. Alright, what you say we do this one, and we'll make the next one a full stop. Oh, man, the no, nose no, is just gone. Right turn, westbound. I think a Juliet in the right turn. November 369er Golf Bravo, clear for immediate takeoff, runway 17. Traffic is a Cesto, a mile and a half off straight air, runway 17. 369 Golf Bravo, immediate takeoff on 17. Inside 8901, traffic is departing ahead of your arrival. I got the traffic inside 9901. Inside 85 knots. 169 Golf Bravo, fly runway heading. Fly runway heading, now go Bravo. 705 Tango Julia, appreciate that turn, you proceed on course. It's I getting can't busy. Do that on course, no problem. It'd be a good day to fly IFR. Nothing dangerous, wouldn't have to shoot an approach or anything. You got these high, you know, 2,000, 2,500 foot ceilings. Be pretty nice. All right. 72 knots, right where I want to be. Coming over Highway 21 here. We got 10 degrees of flaps in, we got Just traffic. Just golf bravo, you proceed on course eastbound, thanks for the immediate. We're going to do this touch and go and make off close traffic. San Marcos Tower, Cessna 118 Sierra Victor, is approximately 6 miles to the east of the field, inbound for landing with Julia. 1,000. Got that second notch of flaps in there. Cessna 118 Sierra Victor, San Marcos Tower, Roger, report entering left downwind for runway 17. Traffic is a Cessna just off the departure end of runway 17 and he is eastbound. Report left downwind for 17. We'll be looking for traffic for 118 Sierra Victor. Hold it off. Just hold it off. Cessna Golf Bravo traffic is a Cessna inbound from the east to the south east. Hold it off. Hold it off. Oh, that was beautiful. That was freaking awesome. Five for runway 17. I'm going to turn that radio down just a little bit. So, copy in. Flaps coming up. 
Number 5 Tango Julia approved, see change approved. Laps are coming up. 5 Tango Julia right full power. Good day. Maintain that center line. Come on, Josh. 58, 60 knots. Airborne. On the brakes. Alright, we'll tell them that we want to full stop. Nine and nine one, uh, make right traffic. We'll make right traffic for this one, 9 and 9 one, and we'd like a full stop. Mr. 991, Roger, if you would make right traffic for runway 13 and runway 13, clear to land. Okay, right traffic for runway 13, clear to land 13, 991. We're in 200 at 4. Alright, we'll get about 1,000 feet here, 200 feet to go, and we'll make our turn on the right down with the so Golf Bravo, just to have you approximately 2 miles, opposite direction is that inbound Cessna, and this altitude indicates 1,600. Check for traffic. Begin our right turn. Six nine golf Bravo will be looking for traffic. Oh, it's a beautiful day. Look at this. Look at these rays, these sun rays coming through the atmosphere. Miles. Beautiful. He's at 1,600. I've got the traffic in sight. Maintain visual for 118 Sierra Victor entering the 45 downwind 17. This is 118 Sierra Victor. Roger, runway 17, you're clear to land. 17, clear to land. 118 Sierra Victor. Just a 9901, if you can, if they will make short approach, runway 13, you're cleared to land. Okay, make short approach, runway 13, 9901. We're in 190 at 4. Thank you. And yeah, oh. enjoy in that traffic, 9 Golf Bravo. Okay, so he said short approach, so that no, means no, 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 we're going to cut it in tight if we can. Traffic has you inside, and previously changed is approved, and the right, traffic is so going to be beat out. Yeah, copy, I'll change approval. Start to we'll ease the power out. out. We're we'll clear to land 13, which is a dark paved runway. We're parallel to it here. Oh, it's beautiful. Inside 85, 1-1000, one, 2-1000, one thousand, 3-1000. One thousand, one thousand. Starting to slow her down here. Bringing that power way back. One thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand. 2-1000, 3-1000. Another notch of flaps and we're going to begin our turn. Power is all the way to idle. We want to be sure we keep her coordinated and do not get too slow. We don't want to get any slower than, I'd say, 68 knots. And we're looking beautiful right here. We've got about a 700 foot per minute descent rate. And we're doing 65 knots, so actually a little slow. I want to let that nose come down. We're keeping it coordinated. Getting slow and getting uncoordinated is a perfect recipe, recipe for a spin. We're just gliding it in on idle. Beautiful. Beautiful. 68 knots, 67 knots, 66 knots decreasing. A little bit of power. Get that nose down a little bit. We are a little high. So pitch that nose down to fix that speed. Now we're getting a little low, so a little power. A little power. Getting a little slower here, 65 knots, but that's okay because we're about to start to flare. Power to idle. Couple swipes of trim, arrest that descent, and hold it off. Let it gently touch the runway. Hold it off, hold it off, hold it off. Beautiful. Perfect. That was awesome. <laughs> Alrighty. Not going to touch anything on the car Western here. 9901, uh, turn right on runway 26 and turn left on Bravo, Bravo, contact ground. Thanks for your help. Right on 26, left on Bravo, ground on Bravo. No problem, 9901. Alrighty. Coming up to runway 26. Entered runway 0826. Alright, and make a hard right turn here onto 26. Carpet in, flaps coming up, and mixture out. Or mixture lean a little bit, rather, for taxi. All right, that was a fun flight. That was good. Got three pretty damn good landings in, and actually a really 
flawless short approach. I must say. Pretty freaking fun. God, it feels good to get back in an airplane. Cessna 108, Sierra Victor, turn right, runway 26, cross runway 13, turn left to Bravo, and Bravo contact ground. Nobody on Bravo there? Nobody, Nobody on Bravo, Bravo over there? On two six. We're going to make a left here. Three, left on Bravo, on Bravo, contact ground. All right. We're going to come up just past the hold line here. When we're clear of the runway, we'll get the strobe lights off. The whole airplane past that line, even the tail. All right, strobe lights coming off, switch to ground, and just tell them we're clear of 26 Bravo, going to the T hangers. My hangers right there. San Marcos ground, Skyhawk 80 991, clear of runway 26 Bravo, going to the T hangers. Skyhawk 80 991, San Marcos ground, taxi to parking via Alpha. Taxi to parking via Alpha 80 991, thank you. Thank you. 